Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. What is development length and lapping length in civil engineering? Because specially for beam, column and slab we provide lapping length because this is the important part of reinforcement, steel reinforcement. And the second one is development length. We also provide development length and top beam and also in plant beam we can provide development length. So therefore, it's important uh, for civil engineering students to know about lapping length and development length. And many civil engineering students, they asked in comments box, sir, what is the formula for development length and also for lapping length, especially for beam, column and slab. Guys, first of all, I will tell you, I've already discussed in many videos, especially for development length and lapping length, but maybe uh, you didn't uh, watch that video. So today I will clear your concept for main difference specially and lapping length and development length because this is the important topic in civil engineering. So let's start guys what is development length and what is lapping length, what's the formula for development length and what is the specific formula for lapping length. Let's start guys. Before starting the video, if you didn't subscribe my channel, so you just subscribe the channel with press bell icon. When you press the bell icon, you will get notification first, but you will not pay for like this video. So must like this video for my motivation. Let's start. Guys, the first one is development length. Development length. What is development length in civil engineering? Guys, simple, I will tell you. Development length we provide to make a good bond between steel and concrete. This is the simple definition of development length. And this is also the often asked question in interview. What is development length? And tell us about the formula for development length and where we provide development length in beam, okay, especially in top beam. Guys, you can see this is beam, okay, and this one is column, right? Now, where we provide development length? Guys, you can see this is steel bar and beam, okay, and this is other steel bar. I will also, uh, this is the cross section. So these are uh, stirrups, okay, and beam to clear your concept for this. So guys, this is column, okay, and this is beam. So where is development length? This is simple beam and this is simple column. So where is development length? And I've already discussed the simple definition, okay, that development length provide to make a good bond between steel and concrete, okay? So, if you keep this uh, beam uh, with column like this, so guys, this is wrong. So, we should provide development length. How you can provide development length? Guys, you can see this is, again, this is beam. My diagram is not good, but try to make, okay. So, and this is beam and this is column. Okay, this is column. Now guys, you can see this is steel bar. This is other steel bar. So the steel should be bent like this. And this one will become like this. Okay, so this length is called development length, this length. This length, okay. This is called development length. So the lower will be go upside, upward side, and the upper steel bar should be bent to this side, downside. This is called development length. 
So if you keep same like this, so this is wrong and this is okay. So the development length should be provided at the end of the RCC, uh, RCC beam with column to make a good bond between steel and concrete and it make also a bond uh, between beam and RCC column. Okay, so it will be uh, it will be not slip. So therefore, this is called development length and develop it, uh, development length should be provided in RCC beam, especially at top, to make a good good bond between steel and concrete, or to make a good bond between column and beam. Okay, guys. Now, what is the formula for development length to provide in beam? Okay. So guys, remember the formula for development length. This is the specific formula from the reference of IS456, okay? So L, uh, de development length is denoted by LD, okay? This is called, they can ask from you an interview, okay? Development length symbol is LD. So is equal D multiply 0.8 seven okay multiply yield stress divide by tbd okay t b d okay now guys what is ld so ld is development length d is dia of steel bar which you are using in plant beam okay so let me discuss D, dia of steel, okay? So 0.87 is a constant value and yield stress is, okay, this is strength of reinforcement in Newton per mm square. This is the strength of steel, okay? And uh, TBD, this is what? This is bond stress. Okay, so guys, uh, when you apply this formula, then you will get length of development length. Or I will tell you, if you don't want to uh, prove this, or if you don't have time to find out the development length, so you can use the formula 16D, okay? 16D, where D is dia of steel bar, which you are using in plant beam. The longitudinal bar, specially, okay? So, this is also for development length, 16D. Now, guys, the second one is, uh, what is lapping length, okay? The second one is lapping length. So, what is lapping length? Remember guys, lapping length. When we joint one steel bar with other or one, uh, when we overlap one steel bar to another to transfer the load from one steel bar to another. As you can see guys, this is one steel bar. Because from fig tree, we have the standard length of steel that is 40 feet or 12 meters. So for insufficient length of steel bars, we overlap one steel bar with other that is called what? Lapping length. Okay, like this. This is called lapping length. To transfer the load from one steel bar to another, this is called lapping length. And the lipping length formula should be minimum 45D, where D is dia of steel bar. Now, guys, there is a question because we have main bars as, sorry, we have a uh, lipping length for beam, column, and slip. But in tension, it should not be less than 45D. Okay? This is also from IS456-2000. It should be not less than 45D, but normally, guys, you can keep 50D, where D is dia of steel bar. If there is beam, column, or slab, but uh, also you can use 50D for M15 and also for M20 grade of concrete, because we have different grade of concrete, and for different grade of concrete, because 
for different grade of concrete we have uh, different lapping length so therefore uh, it should be uh, minimum 45d and you can also keep in 50d okay also you can provide it for column or for slab but i've already discussed in many videos lapping length should not be provided at the uh, end of the support and also lapping length should not be provided at the uh, mid okay because it can provide bending moment because bending moment is maximum at the mid and uh, minimum at the end of the support okay now guys uh, there is a question where we should provide lapping length if you didn't watch my that video where to provide lapping length and beam column and slab so you click on this i button then you are able to watch the video where to provide lapping length or what is the specific point by which we can provide lapping length guys so uh, i didn't write the definition for this what is the lapping length but uh, to transfer the load from one steel bar to another first of all uh, we don't need to provide lapping length that's why because the lapping length uh, this point is weak so therefore the lapping length should not be provided you should try but for insufficient length we should provide that's why because we don't have more length from 12 meters so therefore we require lapping length and lapping length should also be not provide if the dia of steel is more than 36 millimeter okay so guys these are some helpful information which i've discussed the front of you if you have any question about this topic especially for development length and lapping length but i will tell you guys development length should be provide if you don't provide same like this so it will slip okay so the steel bars will be slipped from the uh, are, uh, so it can't make a good uh, bond between concrete or between concrete and column so therefore uh, these are some helpful information which i have discussed the front of you if you have any question about this topic so you can comment i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in the next video goodbye